Have you ever been fishing? I brought my fishing pole with me today because our Bible story is all about a fisherman named Peter. Peter didn't use a pole like we do when we go fishing. Peter used a giant net when he was fishing with his boat. And Peter ended up catching tons of fish. But Jesus taught him how to be a fisher of men. Before our Bible story today, though, we're going to play a little game called Simon Says. You might have played this game before, but if you haven't, the one rule is that you only do what Simon says. So if I say, Simon Says, touch your head. Then you have to touch your head because Simon said to. If I say, Simon Says, touch your nose. You have to touch your nose because Simon said. Now if I just say, give a wink, you don't do it because Simon didn't say to. Okay, here we go. Listen really carefully for what Simon says. Simon says, wiggle your arms. Simon says, point to your mouth. Simon says, spin in a circle. Simon says, take one hop. Touch your nose. Did I catch you? Simon didn't say to touch your nose. We're gonna play one last round of Simon Says, so be sure you're listening closely. Okay, here we go. Simon says, pat your head. Simon says, wiggle your nose. Simon says, touch your shoulders. Stick out your tongue. Simon didn't say to stick out your tongue. No, you just look silly. I hope you loved our game of Simon Says. And now we're gonna jump into the Bible lesson. But first, remember how you only did what Simon said. The Bible is kind of like that. We're only supposed to do what Jesus says. And we're gonna find out if the people in our story, like Peter, the fisherman, if he does what Jesus says. Our Bible story today takes place in the Gospel of Luke. And it was when Jesus first called his disciples. Now disciples are just followers of Jesus and these people were some of the first ones to follow Jesus. So this man's name is Simon Peter and he was on land and he was washing his nets because he had been fishing all night long with James and with John. So he was washing his nets and Jesus came up to him. And Jesus said, let's get into your boat. And he began to teach the people who were on land. And then after he had finished teaching them, they rowed a ways out into the deeper part of the sea. And Jesus said, throw your nets out and let's catch some more fish. And Simon Peter said, we've been fishing all night long and we've caught absolutely nothing. But because you said, we will throw out our nets again. So they threw out the net and they caught so many fish, a huge amount of fish, so much that the net was breaking. And so they even had to call another boat over to help them catch all the fish. And the fish began to weigh down the boat. And Peter, he became scared. And Jesus, Jesus said, no longer will you be fishing for fish. Now you will be a fisher of men. Come follow me. And you know what Peter did? Peter and James and John all followed Jesus. They left everything and just followed him. So Peter and James and John were some of the first disciples that ever followed Jesus. But in total, Jesus was known for having 12 disciples, and sometimes they were called apostles. So the 12 disciples that Jesus called one by one were Peter, Andrew, James, and John. Next came Philip, and then Thomas too. Then there was Matthew and Bartholomew. There was James the one they called the less, Simon also Thaddeus. The 12th apostle Judas made, Jesus was by him betrayed. The 12 disciples. So in our Bible story today, we learned about these 12 men that dropped everything just to follow Jesus. They loved his teaching and they knew that he was the son of God. 
And we too can follow Jesus. We can realize that he's the son of God and we be can become a disciple. And becoming a disciple means obeying Jesus and doing what he says. And we know what he says by reading the Bible. That's really cool, isn't it? That just like these first 12, we can be added onto the number and we can become a disciple too. For our craft today, you're gonna need a piece of paper, your crayon box, and some scissors. Now, if you don't know how to use scissors, or if you're not allowed to, then you're gonna need some parents' help. To start off, we're gonna fold our sheet of paper in half. And you can just fold the crease really tightly and tear it, or you can use your scissors to cut. But we're definitely gonna need our scissors later. So I'm gonna tear my sheet and then have two pieces, and we're not gonna need one of them. So you're gonna take your half sheet of paper and you're gonna fold in half and fold down the crease. And then you're gonna take it and fold it in half again. Now, we folded it in half twice, but now we're gonna need to unfold it all and make sure it's folded like an accordion. So forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards. That way it stands up kind of like this. Looks like a W. So, then you're gonna take your sheet of paper and we're gonna draw a person on it. Now, the person starts with their head. So we're gonna draw a circle up here and then his arms need to hit all the way to the side to make sure the craft works. So draw his arms all the way out to the side. And then his body can go down and then he needs two legs and they need to hit the side too. There we go, there's our person. Now you can ask your mom or your dad or your grandparents to help cut this out for you, like so. So we're just gonna cut in the open spaces. You're not gonna cut along this edge or along this edge. You're just gonna cut these shapes out. And your person is gonna do something kinda crazy. Keep cutting around his head and one last arm. Now, after you cut out your person, you can unfold it and there's a whole chain of people. These are representing our disciples and it shows us how Jesus started with just one person, but quickly it turned into a whole chain of people. And we can join the chain too. We can become a disciple by choosing to follow Jesus, just like they chose to follow Jesus. Now, you can add clothes and shoes and hair and eyes and mouths and nose and big smiles because they were excited to follow Jesus. And I hope you're excited to follow Jesus too. Thanks for joining. Bye kids.